Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday, but for the first time this year inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, it's looking like we are not going to have a promo today. The first Friday of FIFA that we will not have a promo team in packs or some sort of promo going on inside of Foot 22, which brings a lot of question marks. We don't have a loading screen. We don't know what to expect for today. It seems like, again, EA is pulling back again. And they're making us desire more content by not releasing a lot. After a big week, two weeks ago, this past week has been dry. They're setting us up big time for Black Friday, right? Which is coming next week. So, I want to talk about, again, what could happen today still. I mean, we've talked about the re-release potentially of a hero upgrade SBC, of a base icon coming back at some point this week. That's probably plausible, right? We could see some content today that would be maybe like a coin drain as we head into Black Friday, as SBCs are again very hyped in this game. We had some big time SBC content yesterday on Thursday. I wanna talk about how that's impacting the market and just what is going on on this game and with the market this weekend, stuff that we could see. There's a new car design that has been added to the code um, kind of around objectives, right? You'll, you'll see the car design, you'll know what it is if you haven't already. And also there was some information released yesterday. We'll talk about this at the end of the video. Uh, regarding some, basically last year how they gave us the free David Beckham, this year they're going to give us new generation stars, basically. It's Mbappe, Pulisic, Kamavinga, Foden, Teo Hernandez, and Jude Bellingham will be getting one of those special items for like free, basically. You might even see it advertised here on the menus. Um, it's on the front page of the menu. So we'll talk about that a little bit as well. But let's first talk about today. What's going to be going on today on Friday? What are the possible things that we could think of today content-wise that we might be getting? Well, first things first, this is the car design that was added to the code just a few hours ago. And this looks like those milestone objectives that we used to get. If you look down in the comments, everybody is showing this Van Bergen, right? The Van Bergen card, right? what is called like the season milestones or squad foundations or whatever it was. But it, I would expect to see one of these cards released today. Now we've already had a La Liga league player and a Bundesliga league player in the milestone tab. This might be the beginning of some other leagues being recognized. What are these? I think they're called squad foundations, if I remember correctly from last year. So other than this, we really have zero idea of what is coming today on Friday content wise. Now yesterday we talked about maybe the double 81 plus pack and the current team of the week pack potentially uh, being out today into the game or out at some point in the next few days. That could be content that we see today. But let's talk about a few other things, right? One potential piece of content, I think if EA is trying to drop anything today on a Friday, I would say if I'm thinking about potential things that could be dropped, one of the number one things that I could see would be a re-release of either the base icon upgrade or the hero upgrade. Now, I don't know if they would make it repeatable or still if it'd be a one-time non-repeatable SB see but again there's going to be i think there's going to be a little bit of panic selling today as we head into friday 6 p.m today just because there's a lot of unknown right there's no loading screen uh there's really nothing planned or like hinted at coming today on friday so we're really going to be watching at 6 p.m i think there is going to be a little bit of selling we'll talk about that as we get into the market but content wise today again a base icon upgrade seems plausible a hero upgrade seems uh, plausible and if you take a look at it as well I mean, could we potentially see icon swaps? I think that's a little bit of a stretch because if they were gonna release icon swaps, I think they would be adding, you know, like an 81 times 25, maybe an 83 times 25. I feel like you would maybe see those added to the code beforehand and those, as, as far as we know, are not added into the game as of right now. So some people are saying, would we get icon swaps? You know, you know, EA could drop a loading screen this morning on Friday and say icon swaps coming in a few hours. Like that could happen. I really doubt that though. I think it's going to be more of a low key Friday heading into the content drop and then we'll see what happens. Some people are saying, hey, could we get UCL blues today? I mean, that would be a big L of like if they made a promo Friday out of UCL blues, that would be, that would seem like such a lack of hype and a lack of, I guess, like meaningless type of event for a promo uh, per se. But I mean, again, it's it's just all up in the air for today on Friday. We really do not know what is going to happen. Now, could we see preview packs? I guess there's potential for that as well. But the Adidas cards are going to be going out of packs 
today at 6 p.m. So the likelihood of there being preview packs in the store, in my opinion, if EA is doing that, then you know it means they're probably dropping some sort of big SBC as well, and they want to supply the market a little bit. But I wouldn't expect too much of that as well. Honestly, with that new squad foundations uh, car design that seems to be uploaded to the database, I would expect an objective player along those lines today. And then unless they're going to surprise us with like week two of this Adidas promo, I mean, you've got a lot of these SBCs that are still going to be here uh, after the Friday content drop today, right? Asengio is going to be expiring. The upgrade packs are going to be expiring, but Marata is still available. Um, you still have, of course, the player of the months and especially the player of the months from yesterday, but you have the Insigne, you have the Draxler. And with these player of the months, people are crafting. So an 81 plus double upgrade released uh, today would kind of make sense with these 82 pluses going away. It would be a weird timing for an upgrade pack, but there's a lot of SBCs right now that I think people are trying to craft with Draxler, Insigne, and Kunku. Um, and that's, I mean, we're really, again, we're thinking of all these things that could happen today on Friday because we have no idea. Now, let's talk market a little bit too. We've talked about maybe some things that could come today. In my opinion, the number one most likely thing that would be today would be either a hero upgrade or an icon upgrade SBC. Once again, kind of a re-release of that just as a coin drain before we get to Black Friday. I wouldn't expect to see any like thing crazy today, but we'll have to see, right? We'll have to see what EA decides to do. Now, market-wise, the market is very healthy, right? A lot of stuff is continually up in price. A lot of things are still a bit inflated as we look at some gold cards on this game. Um, you know, your Mbappe team of the week card has dropped down a little bit in price, but a lot of these golds are up. Mbappe's gold card out of packs, 1.44. And you've got guys like Ferland Mendy. There was a bit of a drop uh, yesterday on Thursday because um, of the supply. There's some pack supply that was thrown onto the game, but these cards have rebounded back nicely from that supply. Ferland Mendy went down to like the, the mid 40s. He's back up to 50,000 coins. Kempembe was like 41K, down to 38 back up to 40. Some of your Adidas cards got low yesterday. They have rebounded. Joao Felix was down at like 720,000 coins. I was able to snag one there. Right now, he is rising upwards of 760,000 coins. And I would expect to see a lot of this market, you know, go a little bit upwards, even into this morning on Friday, because people are going to get those foot champs games in and, and done. And then they're going to look forward to what maybe the content might be uh this weekend and, and today now again talking about the market i feel like this is again a lot of people are going to try to get their champs games done this weekend and then start to get out on some cards i do think that is something that you're going to see yesterday was a great day for making coins a lot of people are still buying cards as you can tell by the transfer list i've got a ton of cards right now a ton of flips in here a lot of coins made literally i'm up 500,000 coins t after uh not profit after tax quite yet but once all this sells, it should be about 500K between yesterday and maybe this morning, a little bit on Friday. But 500K right now on TP with a lot of cards left to sell. These SARS are selling like hotcakes on the market, man. Gold cards that went up yesterday, um, position change, chemistry style flipping, some panic sold Kessies I got in the high 160s, just some other random flips, some icon flips. I mean, there was plenty of great flippings yesterday on the market, and a lot of coins were to be made. The market feels very healthy. But as we get into this weekend, more and more people are going to start to think about market crash, Black Friday, especially after we get, I think, honestly, into the tail end of this weekend, you're going to start to see less good demand on the market for these players, less gameplay demand and less just less, less demand in general. And people are going to start to sell some cards from their teams. You've already started to see it on some of the top tier icons. Take a look at R9, baby R9. He was like a 2.2 mil card last week. He is now under 2 million coins. Uh, Mid Mateus was like a 2.3 mil card. Right now he's 2.1. Uh, he is down a lot. Eto is down a lot. Some of these top tier icons, Maradona, Mid is another one that has been down um, recently. A lot of these cards looks look like they've slowly been dropping off, and I think that can continue onto the market this weekend. So I think that uh, Friday today is going to be a good day to trade in the earlier parts of the day, but I would be very, very careful throughout the rest of this weekend, especially if we have insane content today uh, with this market. I think you will see a few things rise up, and then you know a short-term rise this morning. Let me let me say that again, like a short-term rise into this morning. Like I've got some SAR Team of the Week cards at the moment, some of the 84s, that I'm listing up right around 40,000 coins because he sells incredibly well for lazies um, on this market at the moment. So I've got a few of this guy listed up and trying to sell, 
But I do think that there could be some potential panic as we head into 6 p.m. UK today with the content drop on Friday, just because there's a little bit of unknown. And when people don't know what's gonna be coming, usually they prepare for it a little bit. So just be on the lookout for a little bit of selling today on the market as well. It's really just kind of, you know, no holds barred. Like whatever people are starting, whatever rumors people maybe latch onto today, if there is a loading screen, that would change some things. Obviously, I don't expect one of those, but who knows, right? It's EA Sports. So we'll be on the lookout for one of those as well. Maybe any sort of hints or leaks. Right now, there really are none, except that today is gonna be a no promo Friday. Um, and that's kind of the, all we know, right? Heading into today on Friday. So maybe a bit of a rise early today on Friday with a little bit of a panic sell. Our usual, uh, you know, as people sell off their cards heading into 6 p.m., expecting some sort of content. If there is little to no content today on Friday, cards are probably gonna go roaring back, rebounding back in price, just like they did yesterday on Thursday when the content was just okay on this market. So watch the market for any drop-offs. And if you see no content today on Friday, like seriously, just an objective, maybe some sort of like easy SBC, maybe a player SBC. Another opportunity for content we could see today would be like a flashback SBC um, or something along those lines. We had a player moments yesterday with Julian Draxler, um, but maybe a another uh, flashback SBC. I think they dropped Conte flashback. What was that like during rule breakers week one, a couple weeks ago. So maybe we have another flashback SBC player today. That is, I guess, uh, another potential piece of content that we could see today. Now let's talk a little bit. Speaking of flashbacks, right? We were all worried about this flashback Mbappe just a couple weeks ago. And some of the information that we got yesterday, I want to talk about this because it might not pertain to the market right now. And today, as we've kind of covered on what I expect for today on Friday. But this is basically, if you just remember to last year in FIFA 21, we thought about the David Beckham card. It was basically a free David Beckham item that they released into the game. And we'll probably talk a little bit more about this later on as we get closer to the date. But these are some cards that will be available. Basically, all you have to do is if you play FIFA 22, um, by January 14th, which if you're watching this video, then obviously you're logging on to FIFA. Uh, starting December 15th, if you log on at any day after December 15th, you will get one of these cards untradeable. It's a next generation player item. If you, if you want to see these players, they're right here. It's really hard to see. You kind of have to zoom in. Mbappe has 90 pace, 84 dribbling, 78 shots, 74 passing, 68 physical, right? So these cards are like, especially for a top tier player like Mbappe, it's been watered down, right? It's kind of like a flashback looking Mbappe, but even worse in a sense, but it's still an Mbappe. Think of like the flashback Cristiano Ronaldo to last year. Massive downgrade on the card but it's still gonna be an Mbappe in game. Kamavinga's card looks okay. Bellium's card looks decent, similar to his inform. Phil Foden's card looks pretty good. 85 shooting, 88 dribbling, 82 passing. Christian Pulisic, 90 pace, 87 dribbling, looks solid. And then my, I think, best value card, or like the one that you would wanna get out of this bunch, Teo Hernandez, 94 pace, 83 physical, 78 defense, 83 dribbling. Uh, and basically, this is going to be kind of like how you had your ones to watch player. It was like a pack, right? Not a player pick. Next generation player item will contain one of those six players that we just mentioned. Uh, and their, their items celebrate a defining moment from their careers. Basically, starting on de December 15th, you should be able to log into foot and this player item will be granted to you. Now, it sounds it's not a player pick but it's probably gonna look like the ones to watch item did where it'll kind of show up as like a player picker a pack um, or pack and then you'll open it up and it'll give you one of these six players. Uh, so that's gonna be coming in about a month, right? Just less than a month from now. That'll probably have some market movements that we'll need to talk about and cover. Uh, but it is interesting to see that they're giving out like a, an option of one of these cards. And you know, Foden, Teo Hernandez, Mbappe, Jude Bellingham, uh, they all have special cards on the market already. So that this could impact some of their items in the next month or so. So I just want to talk about that a little bit uh, today on this game. And then also I wanted to look at these player of the months really fast as well. I know a lot of you guys might be interested in these as we have had the Nkunku and the Paqueta and also the Draxler. I mean, literally yesterday on the game, Draxler's SBC looks decent. Is this like the third PSG SBC that we have had? I think EA is just giving you more reasons to try to go after Mbappe and Neymar and spend more FIFA point dollars on this game to try to get a Julian Draxler because they're giving out so many PSG SBCs that you uh, might want to link those items to. But this nonetheless is very interesting for squad building. I think it's a bit too expensive, even though some people say he's very good in game. 
This and Kunku SBC, if you did the rule breakers, I feel like there's no need to upgrade. And again, I feel like honestly, if, if you had this in Kunku, um, I, I think that this in Kunku on the market would be like 120,000 coins. So the fact that this SBC is 220K, I don't think I'm going to be doing that one um, unless you really, really, really want the upgrade. Because I feel like this 86 in Kunku is a, best, is a better bang for your buck. Now, SBC fodder has gone up a little bit. Uh, because of all of the SBCs that we've had, like the three different player SBCs from yesterday, our 88s are up like two to 3,000 coins a card. I believe Tony Cruz right now might be about 26,000 coins on the market or all 88s are right like 25, 26K. So they're up like two to 3K a card. So technically, if they were to drop an Icon SBC today, it would look pretty expensive because this fodder is already inflated. And yes, it would push this fodder higher. So just be wary of that. If there is to be a hero or an icon upgrade SBC that would be dropped today. Honestly, boys, I'm very curious. Very curious to see how this day on the market goes. Of course, we'll be streaming it live on Twitch, watching and seeing what happens at the content drop. Make sure you check that link uh, down below in the description if you do want to come get involved. But we're going to be watching any panic selling that happens heading into the 6 p.m. time frame, which I do think there will be some. Uh, the Adidas cards going out of packs. We'll keep an eye on that. And of course, we will be interacting with whatever content is released today on Friday, the 19th of November on this game. But again, we are one week away from Black Friday officially today. And the Black Friday festivities will probably start before uh, we actually get one week from today, right? Last year, they started early. There's going to be a lot of Black Friday preparation coming up. So make sure you stick around for those videos through this next week. There's going to be a lot of things to talk about. And I think a lot of people even forget last year how crazy the market was on actually the day before Black Friday. So we'll talk about that as well. All the insane packs that are going to be coming out. I'm sure the EA is going to grab the bag, if you will, this Black Friday this year once again. So again, Really curious to see what content EA drops today, whether it's SVCs, objectives, if it's a really dead Friday, and how the market moves because of that. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.